This is the Ansel BA101 car battery tester. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get the user's manual, the battery tester itself, and a USB cable. It's USB to a uh, mini B USB connector right there. And that is for data collection. You can test your battery and then upload it to the computer using the appropriate software. It's in the book where to get the software. Let me tell you a little bit about this and then of course we'll go ahead and test it out. This is for 12 volt batteries only and it can test batteries that have a range of 100 to 2000 cold cranking amps. I'm going to be talking cold cranking amps here because I'm in the US and that is the standard we use. However, it does support many other standards as well if that's what your country uses instead. It has a battery test, cranking test, and charging test. It also has reverse polarity protection. So if you hook up the happy side to the sad side and the sad side to the happy side, it's not going to work and it's also not going to damage anything, which is important. Cars today are pretty much always marked, almost always, the positive. You're going to see red, either a cap on it or the cable itself will be red, something. And if nothing else, the battery itself will tell you which is positive and which is negative. Do yourself a favor, look first, then hook it up. The protection is there in case you do screw it up anyway. It can test regular flooded AGM or absorbed glass mat batteries, both flat and spiral varieties. With that, there's nothing more to talk about here, so let's go take it out to the car. I did want to also mention this is a black and white screen. That actually is a feature, I think. The screen is backlit, so if it's dark, you'll be able to read it without any problem. And the reason why I like the black and white screen is it's just straight text on there. There's no ambiguity. There's no really, really, really tiny text on there that you're not going to be able to read. And sometimes the color displays are really tiny and you just can't read what they say easily. So oftentimes the black and white screen is actually better. Let's go take this out to the car. All right, we're all set here. It's marked with a cover on it. So we'll pull that off just to kind of get it out to the side there. And we'll go ahead and clip on, doesn't matter if you do positive or negative first. So we'll clip that guy on there, that guy on there, and the screen lights up. So it says, quick test, battery in vehicle, out of vehicle, waveform, review data or print data. So we're gonna go to battery in vehicle. Buttons are real simple, up, down, enter and exit battery in vehicle press enter and we're going to do battery tests so we'll press enter it says check surface charge turn lights on take headlights on for 10 seconds turn lights off we'll press enter and it's a regular flooded battery. It asks for the cold cranking amps. So I'm gonna run that up to, well, it's asking for the unit first. So we'll go back to cold cranking amps, that one there, enter. And now it's asking for that. Where do you find that information? There's a label on the battery. It's hidden right behind this. It says 750. So we're gonna run that up to 750. You can hold it, it'll go faster. and press enter. It says testing. And it's asking for the temperature below zero degrees C, that's 32 degrees Fahrenheit in case you flunked out of uh, science class. Today is above. More testing. And there we go, it says good recharge. That I know to be the case because this car gets uh, 40 miles a week on it, maybe, if that. That's really it. So the battery is good, but it needs a good charging, and I actually have planned to do that. It says the health is 
it's putting out 651 cold cracking abs instead of the 750 charges at 69% 12.44 volts and all the rest so we can exit that we're gonna go back to battery in vehicle and we're gonna do the cranking test so go down to that press enter and it says start engine it says time 130 milliseconds cranking low and it went down to 8.81 volts that's because this battery needs good charge like I said I don't go anywhere with it so it's kind of just creeping down creeping down not to mention also this battery is two years old I believe at this point this uh, this summer will be two years as a matter of fact batteries last about three nowadays it's atrocious I get that but that's one of the great reasons why you need a tool just like this one we're gonna exit that go back once again into battery in vehicle and we're gonna go down to the charging test it's doing a ripple test here loaded testing it says increase rpm to 2500 to 3000 rpm and keep it for five seconds then press enter to continue I miss the old days where there's a throttle cable and I could just yank on it, but this is what we got now. We'll press enter to continue. A little more testing. Loaded 13.66 volts. Unloaded 13.78 volts. Ripple is 9 millivolts. Voltage normal. That's really all there is to it. Right there. We'll go to waveform. And now you can see a graph there that's coming on that's got little ripples in it here and there and that is showing the little anomalies in the charging because you got to remember that although the engine sounds like it's running smooth it does not run at a straight rpm it might be running at say 700 rpm but it's not 700 it might be 695 705 693 708 up and down a little bit like that so you get stuff like that and you press exit and you're out of there i took the liberty of hooking the tool up to the computer and here is the data that it got it's everything that was pretty much on the screen before and now it is just placed on a piece of paper i've broken that up and uh transferred that into the computer here so you can see all of the information there it's basically a data scrubber all the data that was there it gets and you can review it yourself later so once again this was the ansel ba 101 car battery tester very very capable tool inexpensive and great to have nowadays if you notice something a little odd with your car when you start it in the morning sounds a little slow something like that check it out because that could potentially save you from getting stuck somewhere if you'd like to purchase this item I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon thanks for watching make sure you click like make sure you click subscribe and take care we'll see you next time bye bye